pretty much just travel across the, the river just to place bets and come right back over. Mm -hmm. So I think it, it's going to help uh, keep money in, in the city, in the state. And today, Kentucky's historic move, allowing you to bet on different sports, takes another brand new twist starting today. Hello, everybody, and thank you very much for joining us tonight at 6 here on this Thursday evening. I'm Doug Profit. You can now legally bet on your phone anytime and any place and bet on all kinds of events, even get this live dart throwing games. WHAS 11's Connor Steffen and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie are right now at the Fox Den. That's on Shelbyville Road where business is already getting a boost. Connor, you look too comfortable there. What's going on? Hey, Doug, yeah, I mean, hey, we've been hanging out here at Fox Den. You know, we get a second to put our feet up um, after talking to some excited sports bettors. The management here is excited for Thursday Night Football. Take a look, um, especially with the launch of online sports betting here today. I'm actually watching us as we're live here on one of the TVs. Um, but three weeks ago, in-person sports betting launch, you can remember such a huge moment in Kentucky. So far, according to the governor, the state has raked in $4.5 million dollars in betting revenue. The hope is that number continues to grow with an estimated revenue of $23 million expected to be made after a full year. Now, industry experts have described the launch as a rather smooth process so far for bars and restaurants like Fox 10. They're hoping some of that betting success rubs off on their business. You can see that for sure on Sunday. Like that's going to be the first full day of Sunday football with betting allowed. I mean, I can see people just holding up their phones and staring at the TV or sitting at the bar with a laptop, you know. So uh, we've been speaking with some customers here. One told us that they actually just finished helping their parents set up online sports book accounts. Industry analysts say about 60,000 accounts have been set up so far in Kentucky. They're forecasting hundreds of thousands will be set up in total. Now, if you're still looking to register online, there's about seven sports book apps to do so. Uh, you can find the list of those on whas11.com. As for us, we plan on hanging out at the Fox Den for a little bit. There's expected to be an extra sort of busy atmosphere here with the launch of sports betting. So we'll be hanging out here until then. We'll bring you the latest on the night team coming up tonight at 11. Doug. All right, and, and a reminder that Connor will be working tonight. You'll see his story coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Thank you, Connor. After the first two weeks of in-person sports betting, Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear gave us a breakdown by the numbers. He said the state attracted more than $4.5 million in wagers, more than 60,000 mobile accounts pre-registered in Kentucky, and now have full access to their online books. Once the state hits its stride, experts believe betting will bring $23 million to Kentucky every year.